Hi, my name is Maria Nicoy. I'm an ACL pro, and this is how I throw. My sponsors are Lucky Bags Cornhole, 360 Communications, and East Coast Bootsbaggers. My name is Adriel Loshek, and the goal of this channel is to help cornhole players achieve whatever level of cornhole they choose, whether that's simply to win more at your local blind drills, or like me, become an ACL pro. How do you grip the bag? Um, I grip with the seam in my hand. So that way I have full control over the bag and then I just grip with my thumb out this way and my fingers up and curled this way. Oh. So I take the seam and I put it in the center of my hand. I grip it with my thumb out this way and my fingers curled up this way. I'm a, I'm a stander. I stand at the front of the board with my right foot forward. And you're right-handed? I am right-handed. Uh, why right foot forward and not left foot forward? Um, I think it's because I didn't play any, like, sports like baseball or softball, so it just feels really natural to have my right foot forward versus having my left foot forward like in a lot of other sports. You don't do any movements with your leg at, legs at all? Um, typically, if I'm really feeling it, my ankles will move. Uh, my non-dominant ankle will twist in on the end of my throw, but most of the time I try to keep my entire body except for my arm quiet. I am feeling it like I'm really in a groove. My, I will just typically when I'm cranking it, my ankle just typically like go in. I've noticed it like on TV, but sometimes I don't move at all. So that's the only part of my body that ever moves outside of my arm. What are the different throws you have? Got a traditional slide bag. I've got an airmail. I can roll and cut and a block. Four just slide ins. Okay. when you end your throw here? Um, so the first bag went a little bit right. So instead of moving my entire body in, because I already stand on top of the board, I corrected it with the end of my throw. So I just moved my arm at the end a little bit more in so they would all go more towards the center. Quickly guys, if you'd like to support the channel even more than watching videos, please subscribe. For airmails, is there anything that you know that you do a little bit different with the airmails? Um, it depends on where, if there's other bags on the board or if it's an open board airmail. Typically in a airmail situation in a game, you're going to have bags around the hole or in front of the hole. So when I'm in a game, I typically release a little bit higher to get just that couple of inches over that bag. But if it's an open board airmail, just I, the only thing that's different about my throw on an open board airmail is I release it just a little bit higher. My typical release is a little bit closer to my hip, so I'll release it somewhere like around in here. I don't, I don't typically throw open board airmails. I'm not Matt guy. For this kind of airmail where the pole's blocked, you're trying to have a higher arc? Yeah, I'm trying to have it just a little bit higher. My airmail, the natural arc that I have on every bag is a little bit lower than most people. So if I'm throwing an open board airmail, my airmail is going to be a little bit higher, not typically like a line drive, but it is going to be like a little bit higher. But if I have a bag in front of the hole, I want to make sure that I get that extra inch, inch and a half uh, above that bag so I don't drag that bag and I leave it there.
Everybody knows the best way to get good at anything is to practice. If you'd like to practice more cornhole, but you don't know where to start, you get bored of practice, or you've hit a plateau, click the link below for our free practice guide. Depending on when you watch this video, it's either going to be a free practice guide or a full on practice app with over 15 different games to improve your cornhole ability. Regardless, click the link below, download the guide and start making every shot you should. I am now going to explain how to do my roll bag. Uh, I hold the bag the exact same way, seems still in my hand. Yeah, so if I have a bag that's uh, not my bag, it's my opponent's bag that's kind of leaking in the hole, if I want to just go around it and over it, I will put the seam in the front and keep the bag a little bit skinnier in my hand so I have a harder cut and a roll. I will explain how I do the cut shot. Uh, so I keep the seam in my hand just like normal and I just open my hand up at the end of my throw a little bit earlier. So the bag looks like this when it's coming out. It'll still come out flat, but when it hits the board, it'll end up landing like this. Doesn't, like it doesn't make a lot of sense, but I'm telling you that it works. <laughs> I know that it works because I do it all the time. So something that I've learned as starting as an aggressive player from my rookie year to now going into my third year is it's okay to not always be aggressive. There's actually times in the game where you should be conservative. The back block is just as good as a bag as a cut shot or a roll or a backside airmail. It's just as useful to back block sometimes or to just play a little bit more conservative and just take the points when you have them. If they miss one to the side, you don't always have to block and make it a five instead of a two. Sometimes it's just really useful to just throw your bags in the hole. There are going to be times where you do need to hit those shots, and those are really lucrative. But don't always use them as your one trick pony. You should have a bag of tricks that you can do or hit at any given time, and your slide shot should be your number one. Nailed it. I give awesome B-roll for sure. My B-roll is always a 10 out of 10. I can still roll a bag. Just because I don't do it all of the time, I can still roll a bag. You didn't just watch me on TV, Adriel. I rolled six bags mid game. Nailed it. If you liked this video, please subscribe. Also, click the link below for a free practice app and start making every shot you should.